Today on Made to Hack, I give you my uninformed opinion. This is the Bosch XO uh, screwdriver and this is the Bosch PSR Select. I recently bought the XO for uh, um, someone. I couldn't find any reviews which compare the Bosch XO and the PSR Select that were in English, so I decided to make one. So right off the bat, the Bosch XO comes in its own a clamshell uh, um, case that's sort of uh, custom molded around the, the unit. The Bosch PSR Select comes in its own uh, more traditional Bosch green box, uh, not specifically molded, just it just kind of um, sort of a more universal box. Um, the Bosch XO um, comes with the unit itself, which is uh, ergonomic. It fits in the palm of your hand quite easily. Weighs about 300 grams. It also has uh, 10 uh, hex bits, the, the six millimeter quarter inch hex bits. It also comes with a 500 milliamp uh, USB microcharger and the manual and all of this is in its own uh, clamshell box. The PSR Select, again, ergonomic, sort of fits in the palm of your hand, however it is 500 grams, so it's 200 grams uh, heavier than the Bosch XO or almost twice as much. It also comes with a 400 milliamp charger, but this one isn't, this one is more traditional type, it's not a USB charger. Even though the manual technically says it should have a micro USB charger, maybe some models do. Mine doesn't. Of course, the uh, the user manual. The difference being, of course, that in the Bosch PSR Select, all the bits are contained in this 12-bit magazine. So the Bosch PSR Select comes with 12 bits, the Bosch XO with 10 bits, but for the PSR Select, they are all contained in this magazine inside of the, the case of the, uh, of the screwdriver. And going back to the Bosch PSR Select, of course, uh, they, they state not to look directly at at the unit, if you will, when you are pushing forward a, a bit. So the way you select a bit is, um, well, if you pull on the trigger, an LED lights up, sh tr sort of showing you the inside of, of uh, the magazine and the uh, bit that's currently selected. So this looks like a posi drive bit, so once you've engaged it, you just push it forward and the bit, the hex bit comes out here, of course, which is removable by pulling it out. And let's say you want a different bit, perhaps this uh, regular um, standard bit, you just push it out, and I believe this is standard four. Um, going over the, uh, the bits that come with the Bosch PSR Select, there's a Torx 10, 20, 25, uh, hexagonal four and five, or Allen, a Philips 0, 1, and 2, a Posi Drive 1 and 2, and a standard 4 and 6. So if we go through a few of them, just kind of sort of slot through each and one of these, you can see all the bits that come out. Okay. The Bosch XO comes with 10 bits, you know, Philips 0, 1, 2, Posi Drive 1, 2, standard 4, Torx 10, 20, Hex 4 and 5. Both units uh, use the same 3.6-volt uh, lithium-ion batteries. I assume it's a 1.5-amp-hour uh, 18650-cell, probably somewhere in here, close to the circuit. I mean, more, more than likely, this is where the batteries are. Because the Boss XO uses a 500 milliamp USB microcharger, for one thing, you could charge it using any micro-USB cable. It could be charged from your uh, computer, even, your laptop uh, or a phone charger cable. And because it's 500 milliamp hours, uh, the charge for the uh, IXO is around three hours, right? Three hour charge time. For the PSR, it's a four hour charge time, and I'm assuming it's because it uses a um, less powerful 400 milliamp uh, charger, and it's not using the 500 milliamp charger that the IXO comes with. So just to note, this will take technically another, an extra hour to charge, to fully charge. Going over the IXO, there's two interesting things about it with the adapter or the, the um, I guess, the, the tip over here. For one, it's got a whole bunch of optional accessories that, well, you take off this uh, sort of the soft rubber um, cover and then you would 
clamp on the accessories here. I don't have any of them. Uh, but for a workshop, you would get a uh, cutter adapter, a torque settings adapter, an offset angle adapter, a 90 degree adapter, and then a drill adapter. And then they have these three other more quirky adapters if you were for the kitchen. They have a barbecue blower, I guess. They have a spice mill for grinding pepper and then a vino corkscrew for wine bottles. But the other feature about the, um, this, um, if you will, this cover is that it has two lighting uh, options, lenses, if you will. You press it to go forward or backwards, this LED will turn on, and if it's in the middle, it'll, it'll turn on. With the first lens, if you will, you have this um, spotlight lens. Can't really see it here, but it sort of it's, makes it a smaller beam. They call it a spotlight beam. And if you flip it over, they have this diffused lens, which technically will make it a wider beam. You could hardly see it again. It sort of just lights up the whole general area of where you're working for. So they do specify that um, interesting lighting pattern there. The Bosch PSR Select also has an LED lights, but it's just a regular bulb here, sort of um, in between beam or spotlight. Now to go forward or backwards, the, the PSR Select has a button here that you choose to go forward or backwards, whereas the XO, you push it to go forward or to screw it in backwards to reverse, if you will. Both of them have a battery indicator here that will turn red. You can sort of kind of see it flash here on the PSR for a second. So it'll always go on red when it's under 30% charge and they recommend that you then plug it in and charge it. They both have uh, 3.5 and 4.5 Newton meters of uh, screwing power, which we will test. And um, I couldn't find the specifications for the Bosch X on how many screws you can get on one charge, but for the PSR Select, they say that you can probably screw in about 90 screws per charge. They don't specify which screws. Um, however, both machines state that they can do a maximum of five millimeter screw diameter. So we will, uh, test both of those in a little while. Because you can remove the bits by just simply pulling them out on the PSR Select, you can of course customize what bits you have in here. So let's say you don't want to use these standard bits, you may want to use perhaps some that are coated with uh, like titanium nitride or whatever coating this is. Or then you can just, again, with the, uh, the selector pushed in the front, you push in a new bit, pull it back in, and it's now part of the magazine. Do the same for another one. Say, for example, you want to use security torques as opposed to regular torques. Push them in. Or perhaps maybe you're a uh, person who just likes standard bits and you want to put all of them that are just standard straight. It's up to you. You can customize it in each position, all 12 positions, whichever way you want. And when you're uh, tired of one, you can just, or if you want to go back to the standard, Again, selected, you can look inside the little magnifying glass here with the LED that's turned on. Push it out, pull them out, and go back to the uh, original ones. It's easy to switch and customize, and then you don't have to worry about misplacing your bits. You can just kind of, uh, of course, go everywhere with them. Granted, this probably comes at the heftier weight. The, uh, the 200 extra grams is maybe this mechanism or the different end motor that they use for selecting you know in between the drills. Bosch does not recommend you use um, bits that are longer than the 25 millimeter standard so what I have here is a 50 millimeter hex bit which uh, I guess it's sort of a Torx 6 maybe 60. You can remove the bit put it in it will work as you can see here of course you can't store it it can't be brought back in well, it can, except this one fit, but you can't move it around, of course, because it's twice as long. So it could only work with the regular bits to store them. So for example, again, this is a, I guess, a countersink bit or a deburring bit. It'll, per it'll work, if you will, at a slow speed, but this one you can't even pull in because it won't fit. So the only ones that you can store are, of course, the 25 millimeter hex bits. Uh, so that's more or less it for the Bosch PSR. The interior LED turns off after about 10 or 20 seconds. Uh, so no worries about go it going flat. Yeah. The EXO, of course, makes a little bit different sound, probably different motor. Uh, again, you could use a regular 
six millimeter quarter inch hex bits. They work the same way again. They'd recommend you don't put these longer ones. They will run, but maybe not as true. Of course, anything that's a sec six millimeter hex bit will work. And of course, here are different adapters. These are another just a longer six millimeter uh, adapter. They will work, even though it's not recommended by Bosch. And again, something we're gonna test here is the um, six millimeter with a, a socket head. Again, they will work and we're gonna test them out to see how well they do in a real life application. So, okay, I've got a, um, a test setup here, which isn't uh, scientific at all. Uh, as AV would say, it's scientitious. So I've got three types of wood here. I've got a soft wood, which I believe is uh, spruce. I've got a piece of melamine. Now we've got a piece of hardwood, I believe it's either beech or birch, I forgot which one of these is a hardwood. And I've drilled a few holes in all of them, two, three, five millimeters, four millimeters. The idea being, of course, is that we're gonna try to screw in a whole bunch of screws. I'm gonna start with the two millimeter screws, uh, sorry, the three millimeter thick by 45. So um, I guess we'll get the, uh, the EXO. So yeah, both, uh, both the drills have been charged fully. Okay, so first order, gonna try to screw it in into the two millimeter holes that I drilled already, I pre-drilled into the soft wood. Okay, so it went in well with the pre-drilled two millimeter hole. This is a three millimeter um, screw in the three millimeter hole. Okay, remember these are three by 45 millimeter screws. I'm gonna take the Bosch PSR Select now and do the same test. Okay. Okay, that one in fine in the two millimeter hole. We'll put in the three millimeter hole. Maybe that, maybe that hole's too large. <laughs> try it maybe here. I'm gonna try a um, four millimeter screw in a three millimeter hole, see if this works. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a five millimeter. Yeah, this is a five millimeter. I don't know, maybe by 50, five by 50 screw. We'll try one of these as well. See if I could pull up a larger posi drive bit here. All right, let's try a five millimeter screw. So it seemed to do okay with this five by 50, except that I was kind of getting, it's <laughs> kind of running into this four millimeter screw here on the side. So now I'm gonna do, repeat the same with the, uh, the IXO. That's screwed all the way in. Okay, so it seems to be okay with uh, the five millimeter screws. Now I'm gonna try a six millimeter by 80 screw in a three millimeter hole. So that's a six millimeter by 80 screw. Okay, so it's engaged the threads now, okay. The same screw with the uh, PSR Select, the six millimeter. Six uh, M6 screw, Allen head. Okay, so that was an M6 going into a five millimeter hole. It was, you know, tapping the, the thread at the same time. Right. 
This is, uh, of course, a socket head attachment. So it's a 10 millimeter socket head. I'm gonna try to put in one of these, uh, well, I guess this is a self-tapping screw. I think it's six millimeter. We'll try to put into a five millimeter hole. I think I went past the threads again, okay. I'll take out this bit and I'll throw in this one. And I'll try the same type of um, hex head screw. Right, same thing, I'm running out of threads. Now both of these have the same torque specifications. However, I think many people have said, I tend to agree, even though I think it's probably just an illusion. This, the PSR Select seems torquier somehow, even though in the literature, they both have the same um, settings. Okay, what I've got here now is a piece of melamine and you will, you tend to find these very common with uh, flat pack furniture from large stores, maybe such as Ikea or Jisk or other comparable, you know, Scandinavian big box stores that ship flat pack is you get these Euro screws that are meant to be uh, assembled in melamine furniture. So this is a five millimeter hole, six millimeter, and I believe this is a, um, a seven by 60 uh, Euro screw. So again, it's a hex head, uh, just a smaller hex, however. Right, oh, just, one thing I'm noticing, you gotta make sure that you press it all the way forward. Sometimes it'll get here and it'll push back. Make sure it's engaged. Okay, so one and fine. Of course, these would have been countersink, countersunk. But it'll seem to do Euro screws. Now let's do the same in a six millimeter hole. Here it should be easier, of course, larger hole. Okay, so it's doing fine. So it almost essentially went as deep as the PSR Select. Okay, now this is the hardwood piece, piece of hardwood. And again, three millimeter hole, three millimeter screw. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with a four millimeter screw and a three millimeter hole. And I'm gonna try a five millimeter screw in a, um, four, in a three millimeter hole, see if this has any chance of working. All right, so it's really struggling here. That's a five millimeter screw in a three millimeter hole in hardwood. So that's probably at the limit of what it can do. Okay, so I'll try the same screw in a four millimeter hole. Okay, it seemed to do a little bit better there. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat the test with the uh, with the uh, the PSR now. Oh, I'm gonna do. Okay, let's go for a new hole here. If I'm in the five millimeter and a three millimeter hole. Okay, so this one is also struggling and then it, like the XO, it struggled. Okay. Try a new hole here in the... Okay. 
So let's try a six millimeter screw in a four millimeter hole in hardwood. Yeah, it's not liking that. I don't know if I have a larger bit. Let me try with one larger pause drive bit. But I think we're at the limit of what this screwdriver can do. Okay, that's the limit of what this, I think, this screwdriver can do because this is really starting to feel, starting to get warm and it's not liking it. So, six millimeters a, a screw, a four millimeter hole in hardwood. We're at the limit here. Yeah, that's, yeah, the XO is not going any further here. Although one thing that I've read in the manual you can do with the PSR Select is, well, let me put the bit in. If the bit is in and the, the button is not on, it's, um, my understanding is that it is locked. And you can actually, I believe, where is that? Screw, you can use it uh, manually. So let's say, for example, you screwed it in, it's not working anymore, you don't use the, you don't use the button, then you could just manually screw it in. It, it locks, I guess, the spindle or whatnot in place if you're not pressing the button and, and, and the bit is engaged. So, yeah, that's sort of the limit, I think. Um, actually, I'm going to try one, one last try just to see if maybe I could uh, see what happens with uh, one of these hex screws if they would go in into a hardwood piece. Okay. Yeah, so it's not going any more than that. I guess you'd have to go manual. See if I could screw in one of these three millimeters, three millimeter screws without pre-drilling a hole. So this is softwood. So it worked well in softwood without a pre-drilled hole. See if I could do the same in hardwood sort of just to no, I have a hammer and just get it stuck in a little bit and then try let me do the same now with the uh, the PSR select just get it started Okay, I think these are just the screws <laughs> that are not very good. I guess that's all the tests that I have, uh, you know, for uh, for these two screwdrivers. Um, they work quite good. Um, my final conclusions, I suppose. The Bosch PSR Select seems to be quite good if you want to have a collection of, uh, of different bits on hand at all times. This would be good maybe for somebody, for a technician. I could see them use this a lot. Uh, if you're using it where you're not dealing with high torque loads, if you're just unscrewing maybe, um, you know, equipment screws that are very torque very high, this would work quite well, especially since you could throw in one bit, maybe then you go to the next bit that you have lined up. So that, I could see that used. I mean, you could use it maybe even in the shop if, if for example, where, where you're screwing things that uh, aren't load screws, maybe set screws or adjustment screws on, you know, machine equipment. Uh, I could definitely see this being used. Maybe an electronics repair person, uh, you're screw screwing and unscrewing cases or different components. This is this this would work. Uh, of course, you could customize which bits you use the most. Uh, 
again if you're using secure Torx you would change those out or whichever ones you use so I could see it used there quite well quite a lot uh, in that regard I think it's useful it's it's not too heavy um, you know and having a the, the quick change ability I think that's that's gonna be useful for somebody else the XO this is more of a home home tool if you're just maybe unscrewing things around the house maybe again uh, assembling some uh, big box store uh, furniture flat pack furniture you can certainly use this and um, you know you'll probably get the job done quite well uh, if you like those gimmicks about using a, a cork screw opener or a you know pepper mill then by all means then you know you should uh, give that a go but uh, I think this is more a generalist around the house really hobby level tool nothing um, you know again much lighter the ergonomics are much better I noticed myself that you can uh, sort of get in there and torque a little it's a little bit better on the um, you know, maybe the feel is, is certainly conforms to your hand a lot better and I guess those adjustments are something to consider so definitely you can throw this in the um, home around the house category if you will and uh, I mean, I think this retails maybe 40 euros. This is like 50 euros or so. So it's not, I mean, they're not like as cheap as those 10 euro imports, but uh, you could probably trust the brand. I mean, both of these, the ones that I have are both uh, both made in Hungary. So yeah, if uh, again, they're not, uh, they're not terribly bad and they're interesting. I like the concepts. I actually like, really like the PSR Select. Again, just one thing to remember, you gotta get that locked in, because otherwise, if it's not locked in, you're pushing it back in. So whenever you have a bit, that's the one thing that I'm noticing that I, I always have to look at. Just make sure it's fully engaged and you're good to go. With the Bosch, with the XO, again, it's more of a traditional pop out the, you know, put in a bit and um, sort of, this is for the around the house and this could make a good addition to the shop. So. Um, Anyway, let me know what you think of this new video format that I tried out. It's not me doing voiceovers, it's me talking in real time. Uh, if you want uh, more info on these, uh, I've left Amazon links uh, in the description. So, also let me know if you think I'm uh, selling out to uh, big corporate uh, overlords. Anyway, so um, yeah, the Bosch PSR Select and the Bosch XO. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.